First, we'll start up front, guys, for the full tour. It's really sunny out, so hopefully this is okay. You can see my shadow. Sorry about that. Um, so my little scarecrow guy, I don't know where he came from. My dad gave it to me. He's one of the ones you can stick in the ground, but I kind of just lean him right there. And then my little scarecrow that is in my potted plant up front, he is from the Dollar Tree. All the flowers are from the Dollar Tree, the little crow up front. I always put solar lights in there. That is from Walmart. And then this pumpkin is also from my dad. I believe he got that at Walmart. He lights up at night. He's just really cool looking. I love him. We have a skull mat right up front. And I will keep it real with you guys. That is out here all year round. That doesn't go anywhere. We always have a skull mat up front because we love it. So that is what is up front. And I actually have another one of the pots over here. Again, Scarecrow with the solar light and the flowers and the little crow. I'm totally digging the little crow. I got them this year. So yeah, that is how we have this set up up front. All right, then when you come inside, this is by our TV stand and whatnot. I have my ring light behind me, so hopefully you guys can see good. Um, pumpkin is from Michael's. That pumpkin is from Walmart. He lights up. I don't really think you'll see it right now because it's kind of like weird lighting. Um, these little trees I got from Michael's years ago, but they're really cool. I have two of them. That's really neat just to kind of like set the tone like when you walk in the front door and then you have this and then over here I have this skull. He lights up too. He flashes all funky colors uh, but it looks like a little lantern so I just kind of have him sitting in the corner and then on top of the TV stand I have a pumpkin. I have these two burlap bats, really cute. Uh, Eric's parents gave these to us. I think his mom got them at Michael's. I don't like them, but she put little candles in them, which is really cute. And it goes really good. See, ring light. Um, it goes really good with the, um, you know, it's black. So it just kind of all flows together. And then I have another one of the pumpkins over there. So that is the setup when you, you know, you walk in the front door. And um, yeah, so that is the setup here. I like it. It's kind of clean and simple. We don't have a ton of space, so I try not to go crazy. Next, we have the dining area. I have these really cute placemats. My friends uh, Don and Mindy got them for us. I should say our friends. Uh, these are so cute. I love them. They have the little skulls and the little bats. They know that we love skulls and that we love Halloween. So it's really cool that they got us that. Over here, I have a glass pumpkin and you can see the light behind me, so ignore that. Again, not the best lighting, so I'm using the ring light. But yes, got this glass pumpkin from my coworker, Patty. She gave it to me. She was kind of downsizing some stuff and I was like, he's really cute. I called it he, I don't know why, but that's what I do. Uh, the skull candle holders here are from my friend, Amy. She got those, I believe at, I want to say home goods and I think she also got us the candles that go with it which are so cool because they have the crossbones on them so that's kind of how I have this set up again very clean cut and simple but I love my Halloween stuff then in the corner of the room I have another one of those trees that I showed you that was up by the front door have that sitting over here and then I have this really cute wooden cat and pumpkin which was from my parents it was from a local craft store here in town they got it for me years ago but I like it because it goes you know with the whole fall theme not just Halloween so that can just kind of sit out here all you know fall time until I put out all my Christmas decorations so that's what's in the corner in the hallway, I have one of those little hooks you can stick on the door. Um, this is just a little skull from my dad. He's just kind of wooden. He just kind of chillaxes there. I like him. He goes good right here for this time of year. On top of the stove is my Jack and Sally salt shakers. They are not full, but I just put them on top of the stove because they just seem to go perfect there. On the basement door, I have another skull. He, I think I got at the dollar store like forever ago, but they have these all the time. Walmart, Target, wherever you want to go and get those bad boys. They have them all the time everywhere. Last thing I want to show you is the skull on the front door. It's awesome because it's black and it goes with the red door. But we got this, I think from Eric's parents again. I think they got it at Michael's when we got the house. It's probably like eight years old, but it's so awesome. It goes so good for Halloween. I love that it says spooky on it. It's got little tabs we put behind it, those little felt tabs, just so it doesn't scratch our door. But we love this. 
And lastly, I'm just going to show you guys what I'll put out for Thanksgiving. This is kind of more Halloween stuff, but I do switch out some of it right after Halloween. I have just orange placemats, very plain, very simple. I have this really cute Owl Runner Dollar General, I want to say I got this a couple years ago. It has a little owls, a little leaves and the acorns on it. So that goes on the table here with the placemats. I have this super cute, again, all like Dollar Tree, all Target, all, excuse me, um, all Michael's Crafts, so all really cheap, I have to say, um, but this says Thanksgiving, so this goes on the front door, which is really cute. This is another one of those little glass items, kind of like my, I said my coworker gave me the pumpkin, she also gave me this, I mean, how cute is the turkey, are you kidding me? Love him. And then last but not least is my little turkey that sits on the table. This is from my Graham. I said, oh my gosh, she is so adorable. So she will sit on the table once Thanksgiving comes. And that is the fall decor tour. I hope you guys liked it. I have a ton more Halloween stuff actually at Eric's parents' house in bins because we tend to decorate the yard and go crazy for Halloween at his parents' house because they have a lot of neighbors. We do not have a lot of neighbors, but we just don't put all that stuff out here because we don't really have anybody around us. So I just put kind of some of the basic stuff out. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Leave me down in the comments below whether you like Halloween or Thanksgiving decor better. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.